Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Big Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start my coverage of Disgaea 1 Complete on PS4. It's also getting released for the Nintendo Switch. It is by NIS America. It is the remastered, re-awesomed version of Disgaea 1. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I've been busy this week. I've had my hands on the game a little bit early and I've been playing through it. The embargo dropped earlier today. And I have finally unlocked Etna Mode, and we're going to start from Etna Mode, essentially. I played through it. I don't have quite the same levels I did in my Disgaea 1 PC playthrough, but I'm relatively close. And I was able to beat the game just a, literally a few minutes ago, and now we're going to hop in and begin. The game releases. It drops for everyone in North America on the 9th of October. It drops for everyone in Europe on the 12th. And then ASEAN, I'm assuming is Asian or Asia. It drops on the 19th of October. So, with that being said, let's hop in and start up Etna Mode in, like, earnest this time around. I did start Etna Mode once upon a time. I only got one episode in, and then I started playing more Disgaea 2. Anyhow, we've gone full circle. We're coming back. We finished Disgaea 2. We're playing Disgaea 1's Etna Mode. There's a whole bunch of stuff I didn't unlock through this, so we'll see. It should be fun. Let me know if the volume levels need to be adjusted or anything. I think they're okay, but it might be a little bit loud. King Hridrefskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the Dark Land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later, So there are a lot of things that I really like about the remastered version, and some things that I like a little bit better about the PC version. The remastered version looks amazing, I'm not going to let you guys see it just yet. It looks really, really good. There's lots of cool stuff. You can fast forward, as you can see here. However, you can't full out skip everything like you could in the PC version of the game, so that's kind of unfortunate. Also, you don't get Planera as a playable character right at the beginning of the game, again, like you did in the PC version. However, if you die, you get brought right back to the castle, as opposed to having to reload your previous save. You get brought back to the castle right before you basically initiated that level, which is cool. So there are some cool things. Uh, characters look different. Some things make more sense. Some things make about the same sense. So yeah. Anyway, let, let's go. Prince, wake up! Wake up. I will link down below in the description of the video, guys and gals, my playlist for my original Disgaea 1 PC playthrough. So you guys can go watch that if you haven't seen any of it. And then Etna Mode will make a little bit more sense. Essentially, if you play through the game and you do some stuff with switches and all this other stuff, you get to unlock Etna Mode and you'll see how this plays out now. It's going to be different than the main game. So everything is a little bit different. It's tweaked slightly and it's, it's all focused on Etna as the main character as opposed to Laharl. So, anyway, I'll hush up and we'll get through this. Well, if that's the case, there's only one thing left to do. What fool dares awaken me, the great Laharl? Whoops! <laughs> Did I kill him? Oh well, what can I say? Looks like I'll just have to take on the prince's legacy myself. <laughs> so obviously that's different. And the title of Overlord. <laughs> Etna's awesome. Episode 1, Super Dimensional Etna. I like it. Let's do this. All right, so normally you would take control of Prince Laharl here, but as you see, she accidentally, maybe, killed Prince Laharl. Now she is the main character of our story, ladies and gentlemen. So, good stuff. I like it at least. I have a new agenda added. I don't even know what that means. There's a switch. Will I press it? I will press it. All right, let's see what you have to say, friend. Did I hear gunshots? Yep, I accidentally killed the prince. <laughs> You're so clumsy. Oh, I'm glad they're not upset about this. You never know what life will throw at you. 
Yeah, I'm experiencing that right now. Do, 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 do. My skin is dry these days. What do you expect me to do about it? Alright, welcome to the remastered printy. Doesn't it look sexy? It does. The answer is yes. Yes, it looks sexy. I feel a breeze, dude. This castle's getting old. Yeah, it is. You don't look happy. Oh, I know. You're... What? What? In love, aren't you? Idiot. You're talking to the wrong person. How does it feel to be the main character? It feels great. Yeah, it does. Alright, we're going to go over here, and what we're going to do now is... Oh, we're going to skip the tutorial stuff, guys and gals. I know how to use the shop and whatnot, obviously. Uh, there's another switch in the skull. I will press it. Now, that unlocked... Essentially, so you guys paid attention, that's where the two switches are. If you are playing Disgaea 1 from the beginning, and you're wanting to unlock uh, Etna mode for your future playthrough, go and hit those two switches before you do anything else, and then go into this corner over here. And this is Etna's little super secret hidden spot. And each chapter that you do, you need to come back and read through whatever it is, the new entry she puts in. And once you do that through all the chapters, you'll come back. Eventually, you'll get an item. It's a really good item. And then you'll be able to unlock Etna mode once you finish the game the very first time. Huh? What's this piece of paper? Adjust from the beginning. Now, if you wanted to, here's the other alternative. If you wanted to start the game in Etna mode and never even play through it at all in Laharl mode, this is the code that you need to use to do just that. I don't recommend it. I would say that it's a much better idea to play through the first way with Laharl, but there's your options, guys and gals. That is something you can do. What is this? Well, there you have it. Secrets exposed. So I figured everybody's going to probably be starting, the people that are going to be doing coverage of Disgaea 1 Complete, is probably going to be starting with the main campaign, the storyline, and playing through with the Laharl and everything else. We've already experienced that with Disgaea PC. I played through, I got back to roughly where we were. I have all the characters from my PC version uh, remade into this game. And close-ish to the same levels they were. A little bit lower on a lot of them, but pretty close. So yeah, we're here, and I figured this would give us an edge over everybody else. Not that we need it, because of course we're amazing. Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling. I know I said this already, but I'm just going to skip over some stuff here. I'm going to get some things, like, just unlocked. So we don't have to hear all the, the babblids. The babblages. I heard if you keep smiling, you'll have good luck. But I got nothing so far. There's a lot I should point out, but yeah, forget it. Good luck. Alright, the Nether world, or Nether world Hospital. So, one of the unfortunate things is uh, Laharl is not here, and he was a big part of our first team. So, we did kind of rely heavily on him, and that's unfortunate. I uh, just, again, I'm just talking to all the NPCs, skipping over a lot of the stuff. Assembly's currently not in session, that's totally fine. And we're not going to go into the item world yet. Alright, so everything's been pretty much done. We're ready to go and start our adventure. Have I saved yet? When you want to save, press this and select save. You can only save in the Overlord's Castle. No, let's do it. Let's save. It's been about seven or eight minutes of us fiddling around. Let's do it. We're going to go with, um... We'll do a new save. We'll do a new save. Why not? Yeah, we'll save. Now, there's a pretty good chance that I will do some grinding and stuff off-camera if we need to gain any levels or anything like that. I will occasionally do an episode where I show you where I'm grinding and how I'm doing it. For those of you who are curious and want to grind yourselves, I'm not super proficient and know everything about Disgaea. So it's possible that my way is also still wrong, but it might just give you an idea and you can perfect it however you want to do it. So that's kind of how I like to do these things moving forward. So we'll, we'll see. Miss Etna, where are you going? Um, the Stellar Graveyard. Please be careful, there are many powerful monsters there. Alright, so we're just going to head right to the Stellar Graveyard and uh, Valgapus 4. Master Etna, we buried the prince for you, dude! Would he normally die from that? The Overlord's son should be able to deflect a couple hundred rounds, no problem. Master Etna! You don't look very happy, dude! What are you talking about? I'm glad that Brett's finally dead. In fact, I've never been happier. 
I bet, dude. He'd boss us around, but he couldn't even figure out how to set the VCR. <laughs> the bed is stiff, and my food is bland. His complaining sure was annoying, dude. Got all of the prunies. It's his own fault for being betrayed by Master Etna, dude. Yeah. Yep, it's his fault for dying so easily. But this isn't good. What's the problem, dude? Mission accomplished, right? I love the printies. They're so good. They're, they just turn on their master immediately. They're like, we love you now, Edna. Yay. It's, it's, it's funny. But that is the problem. Think about it. With the prince gone, he's got no use for me. I just know he's going to betray me. Oh, yeah. You're too cynical, dude. I think you're going to get a huge reward. Don't be stupid. That'll never happen. Why not? You did your job, dude. Because if I was him, I'd betray him as me. <laughs> you demons are evil, dude. Yeah. But the prince is dead, dude. Won't he find out eventually? I suppose. Uh-oh. She's having an idea, guys. <gasps> oh, I know. <laughs> you there, you cute little friendy. Come over here. Yeah. Oh, God. It's... <laughs> Look, 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 look. I have a bad feeling about this, dude. I said get over here. Yep. Coming, dude. Uh huh. So what's the plan, dude? Well, only this. Master Etna, what are you doing? Yes. <laughs> it's taped on. I forgot about this. Don't tell me that. <laughs> there, perfect. From now on, you're Prince Laharl. Yes. Dude. You just stuck an antenna on me, dude! <laughs> Don't worry about it. You look just like the prince. No one will know. Yeah. Where do you get all of that confidence, dude? Fake Laharl, his name's changed. <gasps> hey, look over there! Uh-oh. <laughs> See? You fooled that monster. You really should trust me more. Oh, yeah. All these guys want to be the overlord, so you might want to watch your back. Are you serious? Master Etna, please help me, dude! What are you talking about, Prince? Wouldn't you rather wipe out these losers with your magnificent powers? <laughs> you guys are my friends, right, dude? We believe in you, Prince, dude! Yes! Dude! Oh, the poor Prinnies. Alright, what, what are we doing? I, I'm, I'm so happy. I, I absolutely love this. Alright, what is this thing? Ooh, attack and defense up. Uh, what level are these guys? Oh my god, they're 65. That is that is not insignificant. We are going to be struggling a little bit. I'm going to have to do a little bit of grinding. I don't know how or where I'm going to do grinding, though. That's kind of a big issue right now. I don't have anything unlocked that's like got a good grind point. So, yeah, this will be this will be something. Um, do we have fake prince? Is he a thing? Nope, there is no fake Prince Laharl, uh, Prinny. Ooh, Etna's jobless now. That's funny. Okay, so welcome to Disgaea 1 Complete, uh, the game proper, I suppose. So, as you can see, it looks fantastic. No more, uh, old school pixelated versions of all the characters. Um, they. I, just, I like to say that they did, like, true to life, they, they just kind of made them nicer looking, but as much as they did bring some of the things 100% from the way they were, they did change some stuff. So if you guys recall, way back in my Disgaea 1 PC uh, Let's Play, I made a, what I thought was a female, oh, cleric. I thought it was a female cleric. I created it, put it out there, and it had a man's voice. It had a man's voice. So we changed the name of the female cleric from Tamlin, and we made a new female cleric named Tamlin to Butch. Now, there's a there's a small problem that we have with this. And that small problem is now the female, or the male cleric is no longer a male cleric. The male cleric is a female cleric again. So, it's, it's a little weird. So, like I said, there's some small things like that. So, Butch is actually a female. There's a few other characters that, are this, that have changed a little bit. Uh, for instance, let's take a look real quick. I don't believe the thief looked like this in the first game in Disgaea PC or even Disgaea 1. I think they're using the model from Disgaea 2 and onward, so that's another one of the changes. Anyway, let's uh, let's kill this thing first before we get too into things here. 
So there are a few changes, but overall, I mean, it's it's pretty close to just replaying this guy one, just with very improved graphics and some pretty cool stuff. So let's see if we've got the strength to do this. Oh, we do. Oh, we're feeling we're feeling pretty good. I think we'll be fine. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna use Star. She's our strongest mage. I'll put her here. I don't know that we can necessarily. Yeah, we can't land both. Oh, yeah, we can. Alright, let's go ahead and cook these guys. We we'll use Giga Star because Omega Stars is too expensive. Alright, that dude's pretty weak. I don't think she's strong enough to do anything. Well, let's see. We'll try Dark Flash. And I think like 200 maybe? No, 139. Alright, let's bring out some of the heavy hitters. We have Vladimir making his return. He was our one of our original printies. And Max, still impressive. Or underwhelming, as it is in this case. Again, a lot of the guys that we're using right now are a bit weaker. So they're going to be a little bit underwhelming. Leo here. He's our ninja. Did some work there. You gotta level up. There's a few, like I said, there's a few folks that are a little bit further behind than I would like. I'm gonna go ahead and throw you into the center area here, so it's easier to kill you. We will use our Ronin, and our Ronin will be able to do the merds. And I think Etna can probably. I will let Zap get the kill. Assuming it doesn't just get murdered by our Ronin. Ours will. It's a lot of damage. Yep, that was enough. Alright, let's end the turn. The zombie should waddle on. Oh, nope. The zombie said, I am not moving. Alright. I think we'll bring Etna out to play as well. Alright. So they haven't changed or tweaked any of the game mechanics that I can tell. So like there's still no Tower of Doom where you can attack from the tower. There's still no... Oh, there's a few other things that I'm, I'm drawing a blank on right now. Well, there's a few other things that like Disgaea 2 and, and further started to add and incorporate. And that's just not really a thing in this one. Um, if you attack a target and it dies, you still use your turn. That's another thing. It doesn't let you do another action. Whereas, say I attacked a target with four different people, and then the first person who attacked that target actually killed it, it would reset at that point and let the other three people do something else if they wanted to. Alright, well, we got through the first stage. That's good. We got an Iron Lance. I, I don't know how good or bad that is. It doesn't seem all that great. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but at least everybody knows the prince is still alive. <laughs> but. Won't that make more demons try to kill us, dude? Don't worry. Our mighty Prince Laharl here will crush those fools. But what about demon lords? We can't beat them, dude. Ooh, they'll make perfect examples to show off the prince's power. In fact, I don't even want to wait for those demons to show up. That could be me next. I hope Prince Laharl is up to it, dude. <laughs> well, let's just go back to the castle and celebrate the prince's return. All right, dude. Poor fake Prince Laharl. Jeez. Oh, my back. I can't believe no one's noticed what's going on, dude! Everybody always hated the prince, so maybe they just don't care! <laughs> Are you joking? You don't know how much I spent to keep their traps shut. I didn't even notice you were bribing everybody, dude! <laughs> oh, and by the way, I paid everybody with your paycheck. <laughs> You're evil, dude! Reporting in, Master Etna! A new demon named Byers is rapidly gaining popularity, dude. Many demons are joining forces with him, dude. Mm, never heard of him. Leave him be. He's probably just a nobody. He's after the throne. We gotta deal with him eventually, dude. Ugh. This overlord business is such a pain in the ass. If you don't take him out, he might eat all that pudding from the Sea of Gehenna that you've been hiding in the fridge, dude. Uh, what? Oh, no. Ooh, if anyone touches my snacks, they're dead. Know about my stash. 
I'm just saying what if, dude. I don't know anything about it. Fine. So, where can we find this demon? Just ask the gatekeeper to take you to Byer's castle, dude. Well, Prince, it's time to stretch your stuff. Jeez. What are you waiting for? Let's go already. Good God, dude. Poor fake Laurel. Love it. Looks like the Dark Assembly is in session, dude. In the Assembly, you can make new units or request things that you want, dude. But be careful. It's not like they approve everything, dude. Huh? Do you really think anybody can turn me down? Even if they try, I'll make them approve it. Alright, did I hear... Uh, I already said that. Alright, so all the, the chatter is still the same. Alright, cool stuff, folks. Cool stuff. Um, okay. What would you like to do? I'm going to go summon the assembly. We don't have a lot of stuff that we have, uh, that we've done so far. I thought there was a way to get Planaire into the group. Like, later. Alright, well, we're going to go with the promotion exam. I haven't been doing these, so... We'll breeze through a few of these. I, I basically I did them on Prince Laharl. I did not do them on Etna. And uh, for those of you familiar with Disgaea two, three, four, five, uh, essentially anytime I'm not sure what exactly was the qualifier to be able to unlock additional things. Maybe you had to get a certain level or rank, whatever the case is. But in Disgaea one, you actually had to go through and pass promotion exams. So you had to be strong enough, geared well enough, have a high enough level, and all that stuff to actually slaughter everything that you're wanting to fight. And once you kill them, you get promoted, and then you're able to, to ask more of the Senate. You're able to, like, right now you can only basically create characters and then make cheaper stuff. Then eventually you can, like, get shoes and eyewear and all these other things. So, that's how they did it in Disgaea 1. So let's see what we've just unlocked with the promotion exam. I wear a belt, inventory, uh, belt shoe, and I wear. Okay. Well, we'll go back to promotion exam. We'll fight these guys too. Um, can't really reach them. All right, let's just chill here. Let's see if they come over to play. Oh, I did. It's adorable. Oh, she countered. Nice. All right, we're gonna roll out right here, and we're gonna be all like, "What you doing over there?" You can be like, "I don't know what you're saying. What, what do you mean? What am I doing over here?" Actually, we're gonna kill these two with our chaos impact. Time for fun. Time for fun. So I think Edna's right now our strongest or our second strongest character. Her weapon is slightly outdated compared to what Arzla, our our Ronin, has, or Samurai, if you will, but. Short of that, she's pretty far up there, and her level's higher, so she does pretty good damage. As you can see, just the basic attack does over 500 to one of these low-level guys. So there you go. All right, let's see what we've unlocked now. Improved counterattack. I mean, there's just not that much left to do. We can also do transmigrate. Transmigrate characters start from level one. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with these games, by the way, guys and gals. Like, if you're if you're on the fence about getting to Sky 1, you're like, I kind of like it, but how long am I going to be able to play? You can literally level your characters up to 9,999. You can just, as you saw there, transmogrify or whatever it was, back to level 1 to get improved stats. You can do all sorts of stuff. There's literally hundreds, possibly thousands of hours you can get out of a Disgaea game if you're inclined to play it that much. And you want to go through and do everything that you can do with it. So I absolutely, 100% recommend this game if it's something that you think looks interesting and you're wondering, is it worth the money? Absolutely, 100% worth the money. All right, we're going to go through one more promotion, and then I think we're going to go do... Eh, maybe we'll do one mission. It shouldn't take too long. But again, I don't know how... I don't know how strong the enemy is going to be. So while it shouldn't take long, if the enemy powers up and strengthens real... real you know, real quickly, each level is a big jump. We're going to have to, like I said, we're going to have to grind out a few extra levels. And go and hopefully find one that has a, an XP boost. And then we'll be able to actually get something out of it. We'll see. So that guy just tried to steal some of our life to heal himself. It didn't really do much, as I'm sure you can see. Sorry. 
I was stuck in an infinite loop there. Alright, and let's see what we've unlocked now. Improved movement. Uh, Printy day. Triple XP. Triples the XP for the first enemy killed one time. I think the problem with that is if you throw a character, like an enemy, onto another enemy to level it up, I think that counts. Which is not great. Alright, let's let's go see. I just want to see, is there any more to no, okay. So we're gonna go to Vyre's Castle. This looks familiar. Oh, they are definitely higher level than they used to be. Yep. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Oh, so there's a little bit of a, a gain. Alright, so what we're going to need to do is... Hmm. I, I, is it going to screw it up? I don't think so, but I don't know. Uh, one sec, guys. Let's, uh, let's try this. It won't be enough to kill it. And I'm going to get myself out of the way. Uh, I should be able to take it down. All right, I'm I'm hoping it doesn't re it did. I wanted to get the little bonus from doing this, but I didn't want it to. Oh no no it didn't. Okay, I didn't want it to remove the uh, the geo panel altogether. So again, if you're hopping in for the first time, you're like, what is the stuff that's going on? I highly recommend you go and check out my Disgaea One PC or my Disgaea PC Let's Play because it's gonna basically show all the beginning, the early parts of the game that you should play through first. I would not recommend hopping into Edna mode right away, but if you have played through Sky 1 before and you're like, oh, I didn't even know there was an Edna mode, well now you know, and it's something to look forward to. I feel like this is a bad idea, actually. Let's change up what we're doing here. This is going to be a level that we'll be able to grind, so I'm pretty happy about that. I think I'm going to do it this way. We go with Chaos Impact. That's going to take out a couple. I am going to use Star. Probably there. I mean, she can cast pretty far away, so it's not that big of a deal. Alright. Let's execute, see what we got. Crack our knuckles and get this done. That was, a, that was a lot of damage. Let's see how much the Omega Star can do. Apparently there's another level to the spells that I don't have unlocked yet as well. I think Terra is the final level of the spells, and I do not have those yet. Slade, buddy, can you... Who's one of our tanky guys? Me. Good old Bumpy. If you guys are wondering where all these character names came from, again, these are carryovers from the original Disgaea Let's Play. My like Disgaea PC Let's Play. So, if you guys want new characters named after you, I may be creating some more new characters. You guys can leave a comment down below if you want to be added to the roster. And at some point, if I do decide to make some new characters, I will throw you guys into the fray and you can enjoy. Again, totally up to you if you want to do that. If not, that's okay too. Just enjoy either way. I, I just, I really, really enjoy playing these. They're so much fun. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up Bruce. And we're going to throw Bruce on to, on to Agrippa. And that's going to put Agrippa now up to level 100 in Cherty. So, pretty strong. I don't really have anybody who can do much to that. So, I'm just going to leave it there. Let's see what happens. I assume the healers, yeah, the priests are going to come out. So these are formerly the male priests. As you can tell, not a male priest anymore. Oh. Did I never have the Omega heal? I don't think I ever unlocked that. That's totally new. I haven't seen that before. That okay, and we survived. That's that's a rare and beautiful thing. Alright, I'm going to toss this on to you. I'm going to get you out of the way. Um... 
move over here. Once again, we use Chaos Impact. And we get Bumpy to throw a Wind Cutter on up there. And we'll see where that puts us. Hopefully we do a pretty solid chunk of damage this way. Hindsight being what it is, I probably should move Edna to the right to do some damage to the bottom. Or up. Well, that was pretty good. I think Bumpy's going to get the kill here. And that's going to be a level up for him for sure. Yep. 76. Alright. That's, that's pretty good. I will take that. Um... Let's see, who can we make get there? What about you, Zap? Can you make it there, buddy? Each character has their oh no, not quite. Each character has their own amount of movement that they can do, plus how far they can throw, how high they can jump, there's all sorts of things that the game has. Oh, uh, it's gonna be like that, is it? Alright, what can I do then? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, sorry. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm gonna actually double down on the clerics together. I'm gonna throw them together so we get a bonus experience as well. Ooh, we almost killed them outright with that. So I'm going to put them together, and it's going to be nice. But I want to make sure they stay on this 50% experience bonus area here. Is anybody that we kill in that area gives us a 50% increase in experience from what they would normally give. So if they gave a thousand, we'd get 1,500. It's, it's a pretty big deal. Level up. Level up. Sweet. Okay, so just a few more things, and then we will be done with our very first episode. These guys are coming forth. We're not gonna try anything fancy. I think we're actually going to have somebody die. Now, death is not permanent in this game. In fact, you're probably going to benefit more from things dying than from them not dying. I know it sounds weird, but the Netherworld Hospital, essentially what it does is it rewards you for getting people killed. It sounds weird. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it is a little bit weird, but that's kind of how it works. So the more damage you heal, the more you have to resurrect people, so on and so forth. It costs you money, but then you get rewards. You get things like um, orbs, which are really good for spellcasting units like your healers and your mages. You get these trinkets that have a tremendous amount of stats on them to really, really buff your characters up. And you can get some pretty good items that give you both health and mana back. I mean, there's a lot of reasons to to get your guys murdered. Also, a little less stress too, because you don't have to worry, do I have to play perfectly? What if my guy dies? Well, he's probably supposed to die at some point, so, you know, there's that. That whole thing. All right, let's throw this together. How much HP do you have? 1,098, I think, with your, your wind cutter. It shouldn't kill it, and then we can kill it with somebody else. It might, though. Nope, okay, 900. So 226. I don't think I can do 226 with our boy here, but we'll give it a shot. We'll use his tiger charge, and we said good day, sir. 105. Well, we tried to say good day. It was not to be so. We're going to lift up Katie, throw her in closer. And now that we're here... We're going to use our Hurricane Slash in hopes that we can do enough damage to take him down. That'll be a pretty nice level up for her as well. Yeah, we got it. Okay, and we just got a common orb right there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to head back to the castle. We're going to go back to the Netherworld Hospital and essentially get treated. I'm going to treat all with the square button. And eventually you do get prizes. I may have claimed all the prizes you can already get from my first playthrough. But I'll show you some of the items that you get for doing said murder death killing. The testament, for instance, here was the last item I got. 350 attack, 250 defense, 250 in intelligence, speed, hit, and resistance. Plus 500 HP and 358 um, spell points or what have you. It's it, They're really good items and there's a few of them. 
like the royalty ring was a, uh, an earlier on one. The Pravada necklace was another one that you got. Sophia's mirror, there's a bunch of them that you get throughout. And then you go down a little bit further and you get stuff like the Psych Orb, the Star Orb, the Holy and Moon Orb. Those are all things that you also get from the Netherworld Hospital. Anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be our first episode of Etna Mode. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm going to have a link down below. Go check out the Disgaea 1 PC Let's Play. The graphics will admittedly look a bit worse because they essentially just kind of remastered all the background stuff. And then they left the sprites themselves, the things that move around the characters, in the original form. And then there were some things you could do to sharpen or, or blur the edges to make it look a little nicer. This definitely looks way better than the PC version. It plays nice, it's fast, it's good. I, I like it. I like it a lot. So, anyway, folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, will all be down below in the description of the video, as it always is. Just like I will have my Disgaea PC Let's Play down there as well. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Give me that thumbs up. Um, let me know if you think uh, Edna Mode is the right thing to do for the very first showing of a Disgaea 1 Complete. I'm, I'm having a blast, guys and gals. I love playing through the game again. It's just a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to this journey, and I'm glad that you guys are going to be joining me for it. Thoughts down below in the comment section, guys and gals, or thoughts on a postcard. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, let me know your thoughts on the game. Until the very next episode, I am Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>